lot of points to pick up there. We're going to talk to Naveen Singh Kadka, who's the environment correspondent for BBC World Service. And Naveen, we heard about those millions of plastic pellets in Secunda's report. Just tell us a little bit more about them. So what are they? They are basically the blocks that you need for, for example, a building, building blocks. Whatever you make out of plastics, they are the tiniest things, the raw materials, so to say. Now, the problem with that is they can absorb their toxic things, anything around, and then travel, God knows, big distances. They're talking about it might reach out to Somalia, India, or any other, uh, so many other parts of the world. And the problem here is sea creatures can take them can be they, they can misunderstand and they can they can think that it is food and inhale or eat them and we know how plastic pollution is a massive issue this is going to be another big thing in that region now and another big thing of course the oil on the beaches where are we with that all right the story with the oil is like you know when you talk to officials then up until now, what they're saying is, we don't think the oil has spilled yet. We are keeping an eye, but they're saying that they're prepared for the worst thing. Now, when I talk to other experts, because they see the slick there, and the question is, what is the slick then if the oil has not spilled? Then there are two theories here. Either the oil has really spilled, the bunker fuel of the ship itself, or that ship was carrying lubricants. You know, there, are, there were 1,500 containers. Out of them, nearly 80 of them were supposed to be dangerous goods. And out of those dangerous goods, I'm being told that there, are, there were lubricants. Now, if those lubricants have spilled into the water, what that will do to the ecosystem there, to the marine ecosystem, coral reefs, and even locals, that is the question people are asking now. It certainly is. And if that's not bad enough, we're hearing that the leak, Naveen, was caused by nitric acid. Just explain, just how, what is it? How dangerous is it? Well, it is quite toxic if it is inhaled. It's very toxic and it, it can... Uh, it, can, it can cause a lot of problems. There are two types of issues here. So if you have massive amount of inhalation during short duration of time, then there is a big consequence. And if you have small concentrations, but if you keep on inhaling for a long time, even then there'll be issues. So it's a double trouble in, on both the sides. And again, it takes us the, back to the same point. Those sea creatures there, those turtles, those fish and, and whatnot, if they are now having to inhale lots of it in big concentration, that's a big issue. But if it's still, if, if they remain there for a long time, it's going to be a huge issue. So it definitely, and it's, it's basically, see, it's the same story what we have heard in the past, that the, it, it's, it's, it's a raw material used for fertilizer or for explosives. And these seaports that you talked about, they are being quoted that they said that they didn't have any expertise to handle it. And this is the question, you see, the, the oil spill is relatively, we know frequently, it's been ha happening in different parts of the world. But when it comes to chemical, there are lots of questions because it is quite rare. The chemical spill is quite rare, and that is the big question. It certainly is a really worrying situation. Naveen Singh Kadka, environment correspondent for the BBC World Service. Thanks so much for talking us through it. Thank you. Uh, lots more on our website.